And now, are you ready for Rachel? Bob Harper with us again today. We've been talking a lot about everybody's number one resolution to lose weight, but every new year people make all sorts of resolutions, whether it's to get in shape or something really huge like trying to quit smoking or something really little like just trying to get more organized. Well, we wanted to help out more of our viewers with their resolutions, so we decided to hook some of them up with products that claim to tackle their specific problems in our most recent Human Lab, Human Lab Resolutions. Take a look. Gina, I already called you. You have to get up. You're going to be late again. My New Year's resolution is to stop being late. I have a really hard time getting out of bed in the morning, and it's constantly making me late to work. The earliest I've been to work is about two minutes late, and I was really proud of myself. So we thought we would help these ladies out with some products to help keep them on track. Gina is getting the Sonic Bomb. This alarm claims to wake even the deepest of sleepers. Place the vibrator between the notches and box spring. Slide the alarm mode switch to AL1 position. Press and hold the alarm set button until you reach desired alarm setting. I am really hopeful that the Sonic Bomb will help me keep my New Year's resolution. Karen Smith is to give us a better understanding of the products that our viewers are, are testing out. So up first is the, the Sonic Boom. Oh. What, what is bomb. this? Bomb. Sonic bomb. It's, yeah. It yeah. sounds so mean. It sounds, yeah. it shakes the bed. It's, what? What is it? This, How does it work? Oh. Well, it's just a crazy alarm clock. It stimulates several senses. So first, it stimulates your ears by having a 113 decibel alarm clock, which is very, very loud. The neighbors are going to call the cops. I exactly. mean, it, if you have thin walls. <laughs> and it also stimulates touch. So it has this vibrating 12-volt device that goes under the mattress, and it shakes the mattress to wake that you up. That could be now, fun. I don't mind getting touched <laughs> to wake up. I don't know about that. I don't <laughs> know. That could be good. You know, the ladies seem to like that idea. Well, Just it, saying. But it also, and it also has red flashing lights, so as if that's not enough, you get red well, You need a plane to land in like your house to wake up. That, you know what this sounds too. like? Okay. A nightclub in your bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> no joke. Seriously. <laughs> There's a smoke machine on the special one. You can serve cocktails and make money with this thing, I yeah, think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, it, 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 medically speaking, are people actually heavy sleepers? Is there any such thing, or are they just lazy and they don't want to get out of bed? There's literally science to this. Right. For people who sleep deeply, they looked at brainwave activity. There's a type of brainwave called a sleep spindle. It's this high-frequency wave, and for people who sleep deeply, they have more of these sleep spindles, so they are not as easily aroused by sound, which I is a specific you. area of the brain that re responds to sound. So for some reason, reason these sleep spindles literally create can deeper sleep sleepers. That. Yeah. That's so great to know there's actual science behind that. There wow. is. good buddy Bob Harper is my co-host today another good friend of our show Dr. Carrie Peterson uh, so earlier in the show we were talking about resolutions a lot today of course weight loss is a big resolution for people but we wanted to um, take it to the test in one of our human labs so we did uh, human lab New Year's resolution edition we're trying to help uh, two of our guests one of them wants to well get up on time, right? And one of them wants a tummy tuck. Everybody wants a tighter tummy, right? <laughs> Without surgery. Without <laughs> surgery, yes, no surgery. Too expensive and ouch, it's surgery. Ouch. Uh, let's take a look at how it went for our viewers. Let's watch. This is day one of Gina using her new alarm clock. Tonight is night three of my sonic bomb. So far it's working pretty well. Um, tomorrow's a little bit of an earlier morning. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. It's now 6.18. I did wake up on time, so. Please welcome Gina and Joan to our show. Yay! Thank you guys for doing this for us. Let's start with Gina. How did it how did it go? It went great. I was um I woke up early every day. I was on time, if not early. So it was great. If it's like a normal alarm clock, but times a hundred. Did did the whole thing work for you? Like the the, the yeah. blinking lights and the shaky shaky. The it kind of scares you out of your sleep. It scares you <laughs> yeah. out of your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It gets you up on time. Gets you out of your out of your so bed. So you, you've been on time since you started using it. Yes. Cool. Early. Uh, and early. Good. 
do you think? Well, very unique product, but if you're a deep sleeper, I think it's a great option. One thing I didn't mention, just to give the audience a sense of how loud it actually is, and you can't sense it on the tape, it's 113 decibels. That's the sound of a, a loud rock concert, just to give wow. you some perspective. So really, so, if you have thin walls, this would be incredibly cruel to your neighbor, right? It would be, or your roommate. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But the good thing is you can actually adjust. If you just want the vibration, you can just put that on. If you just oh. want the sound, you can put that on so you can pick and choose which way you want. Oh, I like that. That's morning. a nice feature, yeah. but it's working for you and that's all that matters. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs>